going to hear from Kevin Langley of the Entrepreneurs Organization, your chairman elect. Take it away. Thank you. 23 years ago, some energetic, frustrated students in Canada were frustrated because they didn't have a peer support or any kind of entrepreneurial education in their school system. They got together and started an entrepreneurs organization. There's 20 entrepreneurs. Doug Mellinger was one of the founders of speaker this morning. And it was founded under the premise is very simple. Since they weren't getting the support at a university level, they would create a peer support grounded in some very simple principles. Trust and respect, boldly go, and a thirst for learning. And since that 23 years, Entrepreneurs Organization has grown into an organized global nonprofit organization that's in 45 different countries. We have 8,500 members globally. We employ about 1.5 million people globally with about $150 billion in annual revenues. Our average member generates about $13 million in annual U.S. sales. Now, part of the give back, our CSR, we talked about social entrepreneurship, as leading entrepreneurs engage in learning and growing amongst ourselves, what we've done is embraced our Global Student Entrepreneur Award program, which identifies college students at a very early age that are in school and running businesses. Now, why would we do that? My premise is it's not about age, it's more about stage. Leading entrepreneurs are not just not mentoring, but providing peer support to early stage entrepreneurs. Less than 1% of the world's population is college educated, and yet in the United States, using some Coffin Foundation statistics, 85% of all high growth, or I should say all business owners have a college education. 95% of all high growth or technology businesses have at least an undergrad, if not an advanced degree. So like I told uh, Doug Rand the other day at Startup America, our challenge is to identify at an early stage the entrepreneurs that are in school and starting businesses and support them in the best we can. And the GSEA award identifies those students globally. What that does is when they go and compete globally with, with a global group of peer network with their peers, it encourages them. It globalizes them. It's not just a USA issue. There's 1.3 billion people coming into the job market over the next five to seven years with the global capacity at best to create 250 million jobs. That's another billion people without jobs. It is not a USA issue, it is a global issue. And as an entrepreneurs organization, what we do is engage entrepreneurs to create jobs and give back, and it's not enough. It's not enough just to identify them, you've got to support them. So what we did is the next stage is we built our EO Accelerator program, which takes an early stage entrepreneur to the next level. Why is that important? Well, in the U.S., there's 307 million people, of which you heard earlier today that there's only really about 30 million entities, of which only 6 million actually create jobs, and of which only 750,000 actually do more than a million dollars in revenue. So the job growth actually happens when you start employing people which there's only 750,000 entities in the U.S. that do more than a million dollars. So there's a big disparity between a lifestyle business and an entrepreneurial firm, one that hires people and grows. So the Accelerator program is designed to engage these early stage entrepreneurs that are committed to growth. Remember, one of the core values is boldly go, thirst for learning. We talk about identifying people less than, less than one half of 1% of the U.S. population. Is, is a high growth entrepreneur. They're creating all the net jobs. So the challenge is, is to find them early. Our GSA student from South Africa, when he went back to South Africa, Nelson Mandela met him. And he sent me two days later a picture of him and Nelson Mandela. He was in the in school newspaper. What kind of message did that send to the other students if a man like Nelson Mandela would meet a young entrepreneurship student from South Africa? It's a very clear message. And it's not until we identify them earlier, because again, it's about peer support. When we hold up these young entrepreneurs that are actually doing it, it's about inspiring the other young entrepreneurs or potential young entrepreneurs to stand up and do the same thing. So our GSEA, GSEA award is engaged in 575 of the leading entrepreneurship schools in the world. So I ask you, if you have an entrepreneurship university, are you nominating people to our GSEA awards? That's my one question. 
We have Mila, no, no stand up, yeah, but we'll, we'll question and answer, I'm gonna ask you to say something. Mila is from Costa Rica, and she attended our GSEA Awards. And if we have time with, during question and answer, I'd like for her to share her two minute story. It addresses the issue we talked about this morning about not having enough female entrepreneurs in this panel. And I'd like for her to share her story if we have a couple minutes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Have a